Here's a clip of me juggling a soccer ball with my quote-unquote weak foot. I'm naturally a right-footed player, but in many ways my left has become better than my right. Here's how I improve my weak foot and how you can do the same. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to juggle with your weak foot. Naturally, I'm a right-footed player, but I have two strong feet and if you've ever watched one of my videos, if you want to be a progressive soccer follower, that idea of having a weak foot is done. It's over. You've got two strong feet from now on. You just need to put more practice, more effort, more attention on your weaker leg. Get them both the same. It's going to serve you for the rest of your playing career. So if you want to start juggling better on your weak foot, number one, give it more attention. Most players, let's say you're a right footed player. How do you start juggling from the very beginning? You're just on your right foot and you're doing as many as you can on your right foot and you never give this guy unless like every so often it comes over here then you finally touch it so from the beginning basic juggling should be right left so from the very beginning go right left right left right left if you're watching this right now you're a young player or a beginner don't handicap yourself by putting all your time and attention on this and then coming back to this one five years later and trying to improve it do it from the beginning right left but let's talk about the technique because that's what probably feels different, right? You have one where you hit it and it feels natural and then you go to use your other foot and it feels weird. You can't flex it in a certain way. You can't flex in the same way as your other foot. And that is exactly true. It's because this foot, this ankle, these toes, they don't have... Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you want to find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. The same flexibility, the same strength. They don't have the same muscle memory. You've done this action on this foot, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, maybe not millions, but a lot more times than you have on this one. So obviously it's going to feel different, but the more you do it, the more you focus on it, the more you think about it, the more natural it will become. So maybe just start like this, kick and catch, but really focus on strong foot. If you're trying to hit it and it's not getting up high enough, you need to flex that foot harder. You need to put a little more force on it. You need to kick it a little harder, but focus on curling the toes, flex foot. It's not weak, it's not limp like this. If I'm making contact like that, the ball's dying. So really focus on curling the toes, hitting under the ball, just like you would on your strong foot. Getting good backspin on the ball. And maybe just start like that with a bounce. Okay, trying to get good curl on the back of the ball. Then you need to start doing what you did originally on this foot, and that's getting multiple touches. Trying to keep it up as many times as you can. Okay, you can do big ones. You can do these little ones. You can do touches with different parts of the foot. Little bounce. But you need to give that foot more time. So it's not rocket science. It's not over, you don't need to overcomplicate it. The same way you made this foot good is the same way you're gonna make this foot good. So don't make it any harder than it has to be. Just start putting it in the practice, adding up the repetitions, evening out the repetitions. But from the beginning, nice and easy with both feet. Don't put all the emphasis on one foot from the beginning. But if you need to catch up, give this guy the time it needs. Just start with those like bounce touches, focusing on good contact. It's better for you to kick it too hard then not hard enough. Focus on flexing the foot, curling the toes, cradling under the ball, creating backspin on the ball, and then trying different techniques, building comfort using different parts of the foot. And one more skill that I like to do, or one more drill that you can do for your weak foot that I think is really good, and it'll actually help you improve a lot faster, help you improve that strength and the flexibility in the foot, 
Because if you're trying to juggle with your weak foot, I'm going to guess, and you're really struggling, I'm going to guess if you flex it like this, like it hurts, like your foot starts to cramp. So you need to practice that skill. And if you can just practice a foot stall, try to get a nice pocket in there, curl the toes really, I'm really flexing the toes up towards my head, towards my knee. And I'm trying to keep it in that pocket right there. And I can feel the tension in my shin and in my ankle joint. And if you really have a weak foot, then that's probably gonna be really tough. But the more you practice this, the more strength you'll have in that foot. And that will transfer into your juggling skills. So I hope that helps. Here's how to improve juggling with your weak foot. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.